everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me for you guys and I just figured since I really am going out and since a lot of you guys really like the get ready with me is I would just show you from literally start to finish like makeup, hair, outfit, perfume, shoes, everything. I just thought I would take you from literally step one because yeah, I just felt like it. And you guys know I love you guys because I would never get ready this early. Like, I literally wait until probably an hour before I have to leave to do everything. So makeup in like 30 minutes, hair in 10 minutes. Like, I'm just very fast when I'm not filming. But yeah, so I already went ahead and did my skincare. I'm going to just do this as a talk through. Um, I'm ice rolling my face right now. All I have on my face is some moisturizer. I believe I used the Huda Beauty, um, it's like the Honey Balm for moisturizer and I just love like, it looks a little greasy on camera but it's just very moisturizing. <laughs> it just makes your skin super hydrated and it's a good prep for makeup I think. And I just got this ice roller off of Amazon. It's good for depuffing your face. It's good for um, shrinking your pores, which I really need right now because a couple days ago I tried this drugstore foundation because I wanted to do a drugstore tutorial for you guys and it clogged all of my pores and I only had it on for maybe two or three hours. So yeah, my skin's not very happy. Um, I also didn't get that much rest last night, so... We're just going to deep puff with the ice roller. But I really do love this thing. Like, it just feels good, honestly. I don't even care if it does nothing. It just wakes you up and it makes you feel refreshed, you know, which your girl needs right now. But I feel like already I feel my face getting less puffy, which is a good thing. I also have my iced coffee because, like I said, I did not get any sleep last night at all. Okay, and I just want this to be like as real as possible as if you guys are here getting ready with me. So I didn't clean my brushes because I normally wouldn't do that. And I know a lot of you guys are going to yell at me, but like this is how I would get ready. So I'm just doing it as is, okay? Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is obviously prime our face. And um, I really like this Illamasqua primer. It's called Skin Glowing Gel Beyond Veil. I, don't know, I got this a really long time ago. I don't even know. I guess you could order it. But it's like super shimmery. We'll focus. Like it just looks like plumping or something. Ooh, I grabbed way too much. Oh my gosh. Way too much. Let me get And usually I would be playing music, obviously. But this is YouTube, and you know. Okay, so usually after I do a glowy primer, I like to go in with a mattifying primer because my skin, especially because this makeup will be on for a couple of hours, my skin right here and like right here gets a little bit shiny. So I go in with a mattifying primer. I'm not sure if you can find this anymore because I guess Becca is discontinued or... I don't know if she quit makeup or what happened, but this is the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector by Becca. I got this a long time ago and I just like, I need to find it again because there's like no primer like this, but any mattifying poreless primer will do. And I just put this literally in the spots I know I'm gonna get greasy. So like already you can see it mattifying my skin. It's magic. Oh, and I forgot to mention I did put an eye cream on before I started getting ready. I used, um, I think Fenty, the Fenty one today, which is, you know, it's whatever, it does its job. Okay, next I see a lot of people doing this, so I want to try it. I'm gonna try spraying a setting spray all over my face before I put my foundation on, and I kind of want to try this e.l.f. one. The Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. And then I'm just going to let that dry. 
Okay, so the first thing that I do after I put on my primer is go in with the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color 5.5. And I just hit literally the high points of my cheeks, just like this, and then a little bit on my forehead. And a lot of people say to blend it in with a sponge, but I'm actually going to use like this type of brush. It's a little like duo fiber. It's dirty, but I only use it for flawless filter, so I'm just going to stipple it a little bit and drag it up like that. Just so like we have that glow peeking through. I plan on using kind of a lot of powder today, but we'll see. I just really need my makeup to stay because I think we're doing like dinner and then out and then like who knows where we're gonna go after. Listen, your girl has been living life, okay? Like literally I've been so like just free living life. I don't have anybody telling me what to do. I'm happy. Love this for me. And I suggest all of you girls do the same because it's getting warm outside and we just don't have time. We don't have time to be depressed anymore. Like, I feel like we're past that now, okay? Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use my all-time favorite. I don't even know why I bother trying to cheat on this product because I've literally, I feel like I have a problem. I want to try new foundations all the time. Like, I pick up new ones all the time. I've tried the new NARS one, the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is, like, the only one that literally has never led me astray and I just don't know if it's just because of my skin type or what it is but you like nothing beats this and I will never cheat on you again so I'm mixing Aruba and Hua Hin <laughs> I see that but I am I think I got a little bit sunburned from the tanning bed so I need the darker color to kind of mimic that and then I also have these like bronzing dark whatever drops from NARS. I'm going to put one pump of that in there too just to get a bronzing effect. I just realized I literally have this headband on in every video. But that's okay because it's cute. <laughs> so if I'm looking this way, you guys know that's my mirror. So I start with a brush. You guys know. Oops turn my phone off and I literally use it as an eyelid primer too just like that I kind of leave the area around my eyes blank because we don't want too much product there and you know we we're gonna put concealer there and then I use like a beauty blender and kind of just take some of the product off so we're not super cakey you feel me okay so usually I've been doing contour and liquid blush first and then concealer but I saw somebody on TikTok say like you should blend your blush like into your concealer so I guess we're gonna do the original way we're gonna do concealer first so I've been using the one sized medium dark two concealer and that's just because I'm a little tan right now, so I don't want it to be, like, too light bright, you know? So we're going to do the usual, just down the nose. I'm kind of excited for tonight. Low key, high key. I've, like, I mean, it's not that I even like being outside. Like, don't get me wrong, because you'd never want to be outside too much, but... I don't know, I've just been like really having fun and my whole thing about going out is I just want to put a fit on. I want to get a fit off. I want to get cute, you know? So I'm going to blend that in with my sponge. So I'm actually going to let this sit for like 2.5 seconds. And while we let this sit, I'm going to just map out my contour. I think I'm going to use this like little drugstore job. I just like the coverage that... Oops, I like the coverage that this one gives you because I think technically it's a concealer, right? Well, no, this, I don't know. Can this even be a concealer? Okay. Let's just blend in the contour first, you know? 
that's just how I feel like doing it today. And you want to create that like illusion, so blend it down and like under, you know? So we have that shadow. Like look at how sharp we just made our jaw. Wow. And then we're blending this up into our hairline a little, which is kind of gross. And I'm just using a fluffy brush for this. Um, I see a lot of people using sponges, but I feel like that takes a lot of the product away and I'm not a fan of that. And I want to use like this type of motion. We're not dragging it, you know? And we'll like clean it up later, but we're definitely not going to drag it. We don't want any harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and blend out this contour now, or this highlight I mean. Oh yeah, and that technique of like letting it sit for a little bit is everything. Look how snatched our face is. Oh, so good. So now we gotta snatch our nose and I'm gonna use the trusty Fenty matchstick for this because I don't trust anything else. And we're gonna lightly contour the sides of our nose. And I'm gonna try to do this as thin as I can. Usually I do it like too thick. I need to really learn how to like master my nose contour. And I haven't been connecting it. I've just been stopping right where I'm about to do the, the little boop. Yo, like some people are so precise with their nose contour and then I see some people literally doing it with a sponge. Like literally they'll be like, like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend it out so it's not so harsh. Ooh, I'm glad I did this this week and not last week because my skin was so dry. My nose was like peeling. I think I want a little bit of a brighter under eye. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in. I'll, I'll put the name down there because what the? Maron Glace. I'm just gonna do this in the inner, like very most inner corner. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna blend it, but we're not gonna blend it all the way down so that it covers like the first concealer. Literally just under the eye. Just like this. I don't know why, like, I'm still into the very light under eye look. I know it's very old school, and it might not be, like, the trend, but that's really my jam. I just like it. We can always, like, fix it later. So, for liquid blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. Literally, you just need one pump. I know it's, like, two drops, but you just need one pump. And I'm going to do a little itty bitty stippling brush and we're going to put this right there. <gasps> Look at how pretty this blush is. I also want to drag it up a little. Wow, this pink is gorgeous. Oh, and it's already kind of um, not like hiding it, but it's already kind of masking the fact that the under eye is like super bright, you know? Okay, so for setting powder, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm just going to use Laura just so we can have one powder for the day. Usually I'll do one for under eye, one for all over the face, but we're just going to do one today. And my trusty powder puff, these are from Amazon. I know a lot of you guys ask me. And I've tried other powder puffs before, but these little heart-shaped ones are the jam. So you don't want like a crazy amount of powder, but just enough to like lightly set the under eye. Oh my gosh, I forgot to blend under my lip. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> and I'm gonna also set the rest of my face with the same I said lightly and I'm whole ass baking. So I'm gonna bake under the contour so it shapes it. 
Okay, for eyeshadow, I think we should just keep it simple. I think I'm literally going to do maybe a two, three color look. It's going to be super easy. Okay, so this is the Morphe Big Primpin 35X palette. I'm going to go in with Power On. Just like a light under the brow color. I really love simple eye looks. I just feel like when you're going out and stuff, like, it just seems pretty effortless, you know? Okay, so for the all over the lid color, I'm going to use a fluffy brush and this color called Going Somewhere. This is the M441 brush. I'm just going to get some color on there and we're just going to start blending it all over the lid. Let's drag this color up too. So that's what we have. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna layer another color on there. This is what we're going with today. So now that you have that color blended in, I'm gonna use Places to Woe. What? I don't know. And then we're gonna use, I can't tell what number this is, but it's more of like a flat shader brush, fluffy shader brush. And I'm just gonna get some of that color on there. Start at the end like this and just blend it. You want it to be like a seamless blend, you know, like almost like this color faded out, but we cheated and used two colors. Okay, so I don't think we need to be perfect with it, so we're just going to do under the eye. I'm going to do the same shade, so I'm just literally going to like mix the two and go under. Why can't I do this with a regular face? Okay, so I'm going to do the lighter color again for the inner corner. We're not going to do shimmer, we're going to do matte. And blend that in. Okay, so next I'm going to do my brows, and you guys know I hate doing that on camera, so I'm going to do them and come right back, but I did want to tell you guys what I use. Obviously, I use the um, Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony, and then I'm also going to use Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 4.5. I just feel like it needs to tag team together to, like, make my brow. Y'all, I really hope these look decent or like they match and stuff because this light that I use to film for you guys is blinding okay you can't see shit all right next I'm gonna use kind of like a fluffy brush this is from the makeup by Ariel collection for morphe and Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless finish powder this is in the number two medium and this is what I use to kind of like go under my under eyes like this just to set the highlight and make sure it doesn't crease all that good stuff and then I'm gonna dust off the rest of the powder that we had on our face okay so this is kind of a new step for me well it's a new product that I use because usually I use the Laura Geller baked foundation but I'm gonna try this one size powder foundation in medium five and I actually really like this on its own please let me know if you guys want a powder foundation routine because girl that makeup oh my gosh you, you'll literally look like so good but yeah so I'm gonna use this to kind of set the rest of my face I think I have to be kind of careful because it is very pigmented. Yeah, very pigmented. So I'm going to lightly just dust it. And then since we did set with a lot of um, matte powders, I'm going to just lightly take this Laura Mercier. It's translucent loose setting powder and light catcher, Honey Star. 
and I'm just gonna take this on like a bit like huge fluffy brush and just swirl it in the top dust off the excess and we're just gonna like replace the glow we're gonna fake the glow almost like the glow from within but it's kind of just from on top like look at that look at how it makes your skin look oh my gosh so many people sleep on this powder and I don't know how it's so good mm. so I did say that we were gonna do like a little wing I'm gonna just start from like the middle of my eye and just create like a little mini wing so we're not like too dramatic you know Actually, like I think that's cool you can't even really see it but it just makes it a little bit of a cat eye even though like my lashes block everything so for bronzer I'm gonna use my favorite this is the NARS matte Laguna bronzer and this is another product that I probably won't cheat on ever again because it just looks good and it's not too orangey of a blood like a bronzer and you know it just works so I'm gonna like take a fluffy flat-ish brush like I don't think you guys can tell that it's kind of flat but it is and I'm literally just gonna like tap it where I want my contour because I don't want it to be too aggressive but we want it to be there you guys I'm like so excited for my outfit tonight and I'm going to like a really chill party I mean it's kind of like it's not super chill but literally you see the same people every week so I'm not gonna get super dressed up I'm not putting on a dress it's kind of chilly outside so my outfit's like she's chilling but she's still cute you know anyway I'm gonna grab a fluffy like this type of brush this is from makeup by Mario we're gonna take the same bronzer and I've learned to kind of like flick this up like that I used to like, no, we don't want that. We just want to take it up so our face is snatched. Take it under the chin where we took the contour earlier. Still debating how I want to do my hair. I think we're just going to do a slick bun, honestly. Some of you guys have been wanting me to do a bun anyway. So I think it's like perfect time bronzed contoured now for blush I think I'm going to use NARS Amore and a lot of people sleep on this blush like I told you guys in my other tutorial this is it it's buildable and it still gives you like that pinky like flesh toned pink like you don't even expect it to look like that and it just looks like that it's so good and we're blending it like pretty high into our highlight. Um, I think his name is Painted by Spencer. He's like, if you haven't been blending it into your highlight, what have you been doing? So we're going to try that tonight. I kind of like it. It looks very like baddie. I love how smooth our makeup looks right now. Like this looks like I have on a filter. Next, I'm just going to tap a little bit of waterproof mascara underneath my, um, for my bottom lashes. And I recently had to switch over to waterproof because every time I would go out and wear regular mascara, by the end of the night, it would be like down here. So embarrassing. Okay, we have our under eyes. And... Finally, we're gonna do a little bit of highlight. So I've really been in love with the Kaja Mochi Mochi Glow. And I'm just gonna like lightly, because we already went in with the Glow Translucent Powder. Literally so light. So light. And for the nose, I'm gonna go in with the super skinny brush. We're gonna do like the lightest line just going down.
Look at how snatched that looks. Okay, so next for the lip combo that everybody's been asking for. <laughs> I've been using the NYX Suede Lip Liner. This is in Downtown Beauty, and you guys know this is like an OG fave of mine. I slightly overline just the middle of the bottom lip. I'm sure you guys have seen this like everywhere by now, but we're gonna, instead of doing the cupid's bow, kind of just connect the peak like that. And then just line the rest like normal. There's just something about a chocolate liner that's just like very batty. I mean, I, I know not a lot of people like it. A lot of people like like the flesh tone and you know, sometimes that's my jam too, but tonight, at night, this is the one for me. So I have my lip brush on deck. I'm going to go in with MAC Peach Stock Lipstick, and it's going to look light at first, but we're going to blend it. Okay, it looks light. Blend it in with the lip liner. <sighs> you guys, just wait until I do the lip gloss. Okay, so I know it's light. This is what we're going for. Then once you top it with this gloss, I can't even see the name. It's called Hot Chocolate Fantasy from Fenty. Oh, this lip combo is good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let me just show you guys again. It looks like... You know, like the OG, like, lip liner, but, like, your natural lip color on the inside and, like, juicy. What more can you ask for? Like, what more? What more can you ask for? Okay, so now we're going to do setting spray. And you guys know my, like, I'm never going to cheat on this as well. This is the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. You guys, like, don't sleep on this. Just saturate the face. And then I learned this trick as well on TikTok. You're just going to take your sponge and the translucent setting powder. Just get a little bit and just dab it off so it's like packed into the sponge. And I like to just go around my smile lines because I just don't like them. But anywhere you have texture. And it just vanishes. It's like so crazy. It takes away all your pores, all your problems, <laughs> and it's so good. It works so well. Yeah, you guys, so that's it for the makeup. Let me go get dressed with you guys. So, one second. Wow, I am tripping. We haven't even done our hair yet. So yeah, my hair is pretty gross. I mean, it's just second day hair, but I worked out and I had it in a bun, like gelled in a bun all day. So we're just gonna put it back up in a bun because what other option do we really have, you know? So first I'm just gonna wet it a little bit. And I found that this look actually is way better on straightened, like flat iron hair. It just is way smoother, but we're not gonna do all that right now so this is what we got and you guys can literally get a rat tail comb and just split it in the middle I'm just gonna use my nail okay I think that's good enough right okay let me wet it just a little bit more especially at the bottom because we got to twist this into a bun and I don't know about you guys, but I have hella layers, so it doesn't always cooperate. Then I'm just going to grab my Eco Style Gel. This is the one with argan oil. And we're going to use quite a bit. 
And I hear like the secret to like perfecting this bun is doing it in two sections. So we're gonna do the top section first. Obviously with like this type of brush, I told ya. Any type of like boar bristle really gets the job done. Keep hitting my wall, I'm like so close to it. Okay. Then just grab your first hair tie. I use the one with thick hair just so it's not like way too tight. And just grab the fur, like the top half of your hair like this. Okay, I think I like how that's looking. So I'm just gonna tie up the top half. Okay, so I didn't do that super tight. We're gonna do the bottom. We're gonna tie the bottom layer to the top. And I'm just grabbing a little bit more gel just so it'll hold the bottom up. So you can grab your brush and just smooth the bottom it doesn't have to be perfect because like no one sees that anyway and just tie those two sections together so this one I do kind of make semi tight because we gotta you know have it hold and then for the most important part we're gonna do the bun and I think I'm gonna leave some little sections out like the little tail Grab some more gel. And just twist that around. Wow, I should have turned around so you guys could see this, but I think you guys get it, right? Oh, I almost just broke my nail. Okay, so I like to leave these little thingy-majigs out and then if the bun isn't like perfect like I don't like how this is sticking out I just grab a bobby pin just pin it to your head all right so I'm not gonna go crazy with my baby hairs because I don't really like that look when it's this type of bun but I'm just gonna grab my edge styler edge fixer just a little bit and kind of like do that like, we don't want, like, crazy baby hairs, you know? I'm just going to drag this down. Okay, so there we have our bun. Easy, breezy. We're ready to go. Outfit time. Okay, y'all, so I apologize for this super bad lighting, but I'm, like, I don't know. This is the only way I know how to do it. But I'm just gonna wear like something pretty casual. So I got these pants from a store called I Am Coco LA and they button up. I don't know why I couldn't but button them up in the store because of my nails and I don't know why I thought I could do it at home. And then you guys are probably like, what the hell is her shirt? But just watch. So these are the pants on they're so cute and can you guys just look at the fit they had like my exact size in the store blessed you know okay so this is a t-shirt an old t-shirt that I just had and I just cut it up because I wanted to do this like t-shirt look that I saw on TikTok of course I've been talking about TikTok all day but um also I think I have a TikTok problem We'll talk about that another day. Okay, so I'm going to tie this. I don't know if you guys can see how I cut it. I cut it on the side. And this is, like, I didn't create this. Somebody else did. I just thought it was so cool. So I'm going to bring the two from the back and just tie it in the front like this. So we have kind of, like, I'm going to fold these in a little bit. Kind of like this, you know? Can you guys see where I'm going with it? Okay, so tie this. I'm gonna do it pretty tight. And then I'm gonna tuck this. 
and uh, like that. I'm also going to tuck this side. And then these little tails, I'm going to also, let me see if it's straight. Do I have it how I want it? Poor Marilyn, she's split in half. So I'm also going to do a, like little ropey ropes like this. And we're also going to tuck these under. Okay. Tell me that isn't the cutest thing ever. Okay. And literally you can adjust it however, like if you want less boobage, more boobage. I'm going to probably play with it after I finish filming. But you guys get the idea. Like this is so Oh, I can't get over it. Like, wow. You know? You know, you know? Okay, so I went ahead and added some jewelry. Um, I really wanted some, like, oversized, just regular hoops, but I couldn't find mine, and this is the closest thing that I had. They're, like, hexagons or something, but I feel like they're still okay. I just put on a couple rings, my watch, and yeah, the scent for the night, I'm gonna mix two. So I want to do Gucci Flora, and I realized after I did the whole perfume collection that this is the toilet, and I don't know how because this shit is so strong, so strong. And then this girl from Sephora put me onto the green Burberry Her, and I just got the little roll on, roll on, roll on, so I could try it. But it's so good. Like, my gosh, she wasn't lying. But yeah, I feel like these two mixed together, this is a little sweet, and that's super floral, so we smell yummy. And then for shoes, I was kind of debating if I wanted to do sneakers, but. I mean, might as well like wear heels because I'm already dressed like a boy. But I'm gonna do uh, just simple black, like patent um, sandals. These are YSL. But yeah, you can't even really see anyway because these pants are just the perfect length for like your toes to stick out, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that is our fit for tonight. So yeah, you guys, that is my get ready with me. I know like we kind of beat our face today. I mean, Obviously, not it's not everybody's like vibe. It's a lot of people like like supernatural makeup now, but I just felt like it, you know? I just felt like it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like my fit. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.